This is how to play Carbon City Zero. Carbon City Zero is a deck building game that you can play collaboratively, competitively, or solo. And the goal is to get the city's carbon levels to zero before running out of time. Before we get to the gameplay, let's have a look at the board, cards, and setup. The game board has a carbon tracker that goes from 65 down to zero. At the bottom of the game board, you'll find the time tracker, which will count down to zero. During the game, you'll use cards that belong to different sectors. You can find the sector in the top left corner of each card. There are starter cards, government cards, industry cards, and domestic cards, each with their own color and icons. To the right of the sector icon, you might also find a silver coin that indicates the cost to buy the card, a silver diamond, that shows the increase or decrease in carbon value and a gold coin that shows income. At the bottom of the card, you will find any special rules that can be activated during the action phase and a link ability indicated by a handshake icon, which can be used during the action phase too. There are also 12 purple global cards. The ones with the globe icon are for collaborative and solo games and the ones with the globe in the hand icon are for competitive games. Each global card has a special rule that is immediately activated when the card is drawn and changes the rules for the rest of the game. For example, the special rule on this card means that the marketplace increases from five to six cards for the duration of the entire game. And finally, there are red snag cards, which represent some of the challenges you will face in working to reduce your city's carbon level. Each player will have a personal draw deck and a recycle deck in front of them. There is also a shared marketplace consisting of five open-faced cards. Above that, you will find the market deck and the discard pile, plus any global cards that are in play. If you'd like to read more about the different cards and definitions you'll come across in the game, you can always have a look at the glossary in the back of the accompanying booklet. We'll start with the collaborative gameplay, where you'll pick one mayor together and try to get carbon levels to zero before running out of time. Place your chosen mayor at 50 on the carbon tracker. Place the hourglass piece on 9 on the time tracker at the bottom of the board. Or start on 10 if you're playing for the very first time. Each player will get a starter draw deck with five budget cards, two stock exchange cards, one poor housing card, and one poor transport card. You'll recognize the starter cards by the pink band and the asterisk symbol. Return the remaining starter cards to the game box. Take the 12 purple global cards. Since we're playing a collaborative game, take out the global competitive cards and put them back in the game box. Keep the global collaborative cards for this game. Take them and combine them with all the remaining cards and shuffle them to create the market deck, which you will place face down in the center of your play area next to the board. Now create the marketplace by drawing the top five cards from the market deck and displaying them face up. During this initial setup stage, discard any red snag cards if they are drawn for the marketplace into the discard pile next to the market deck and replace them until there are none in the marketplace. But from now on, if snack cards are drawn, you must follow their instructions. Each player now draws five cards from their personal draw deck and adds them to their hand. You're now ready to play. Each turn has three phases in this order. Action, recycle, draw. To start the action phase, you must play all five cards in your hand. One at a time, lay the cards down in front of you in any order. If your cards have special rules, you can choose to activate them in any order once per card. On this card, for example, the special rule is draw two cards. If a special rule brings a card into play, you may use that card's special rule in the same turn too. Now look at all your cards in play and add up the gold coin symbols. This is your income. Use your income to purchase cards from the marketplace one at a time. Their cost is indicated by the silver coin. If you purchase a market card, it goes straight into your personal recycle pile without being used. This means it will appear in your card circulation in future turns. Now replenish the marketplace. If the market deck runs out, shuffle the discard pile to create a new market deck. If you draw a global card, place it above the marketplace. It will immediately be activated and will change a rule for the duration of the entire game. 
The global cards represent the decisions and actions of the world at large. There are three different types, and there are two each. If there's already a global card of the same name in play, place the duplicate card into the discard pile. Draw another card to replenish the marketplace. Some cards may have link abilities, which are indicated by the handshake icon. For example, decrease carbon by one. These can only be used if you have another card of the same sector. The sector can be seen top left of each card. Then you'll adjust the carbon level. Add up the silver carbon symbols on your cards in play and add or subtract any bonuses granted by link abilities. If the carbon level reaches or exceeds 65 at the end of a player's turn, move the hourglass one space down on the time tracker. When you've completed all those action steps, recycle all your played cards onto your recycle pile. And finally, draw five cards from your deck. When your draw deck runs out, shuffle your recycle pile and turn it into your new draw deck. Once each player has taken a turn, the round is over and the hourglass will be moved one step down on the time tracker. If the hourglass reaches the time's up space, players have failed to make their city carbon neutral in time and have lost the game. If the carbon level reaches zero before the time runs out, you've won the game. You can also play this game as a solo player by using the same rules and two draw decks instead of one. To play a competitive game, every player must choose a mayor and start on 40 on the carbon tracker. Remove the six collaborative global cards and swap them for the six competitive global cards. The winner is the mayor who reaches carbon level zero first. You'll find a glossary of all phrases and concepts used in the game in the back of the accompanying booklet.